welcome to day 89 of Level Grind of the Daily Hustle. I'm Rachel Bogan, for those of you who have not yet seen a video, and today it is the first Monday, well, not the first Monday, it is Monday. It's just Monday, and it's the third Monday of 2018. So what am I up to today? Well, a lot of phone calls, actually, and with friends. Today is Martin Luther King Day, Robo's home, so it's a relaxed atmosphere. Um, so I had a phone call with a friend of mine and then another long phone call with a good friend of mine. Um, and I was supposed to have another phone call with another friend of mine. Yeah, basically on the phone all day, but that's been moved to tomorrow. So the other things that I'm working on is trying to finish out my hard drive recovery project that I started on Friday. Yes, I'm still working on this. One of the pieces of software that I had had to run all weekend long, like nearly 72 hours to get this the computer to actually see what's going on. So, good news is, I've made progress, I'm excited about what's happening, and we will go from there. The other thing I need to do today is figure out what's actually on my work schedule for this week. Because today is relaxed, there's a bunch of things that aren't exactly happening today, which is fine. Um, but that means that I have to plan Tuesday and Wednesday really well in order to get things done. Because Thursday and Friday, I've got all kinds of stuff happening. Yeah, third week of January is going to be busy. And that's just how I like it. So this is the result of that 72 hour scan that I did. Basically, my computer would not be recognizing this particular disk as anything that had not only just any data on it, but neither could it actually access it. The reason why this is important because in this program, once it decides to load up, um, it would not populate in this disk information here. It was as if the computer couldn't see it at all. Um, this is also true for another program that I'm trying to open in the background. I'm not quite certain why this isn't working yet. But the good news is that I have made progress. And, you know, you can see some of this over here. It's still saying that this disk cannot be read because it's not initialized. But the fact that the computer can now see it in this program, again, once it loads up, is the progress. Now, if only this will decide to go, everything will be fine. Oh, 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 you see this right here? Local disk L? That yeah. is the new thing that I put on here. One of my programs that I told it to mount it as L. And my computer is thinking about it. Maybe this will work right now and I won't have to do anything else. Come on, Kaiju. Okay, so it's the end of the day and Robo and I are at Supers because I need comfort food because it didn't work. Oh, okay, so I pulled my hair out literally most of the day trying to figure out what the fright happened with this dumb hard drive. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of upset about it. I mean, the reality is that I'm not really any worse off right now than I was before I started. I mean, the drive didn't work before I started, and the drive doesn't work now. It's just really frustrating to spend a lot of time on something and to problem solve and to get really close and then no progress. Like, nothing. It's not often that I fail at something. Like, usually when I fail, there's usually some silver lining, like... Something else was good about it or I was able to learn. And this is one of those cases where it's like, nope, like, aside from getting more better at my researching skills and learning more about how, like, SSD cards work, which apparently this thing is not. It's actually a uh, mini, like, spinning disc. Yeah, so I'm just really, really frustrated by it. Um, in terms of work, I got... Most of Renegade's social media written for next month. Um, you know, this is this the stuff that I put out there just to keep it populated so it's not like a dead page. But, um, yeah, so that's done. Um, had my phone calls, was able to pop some stuff off to RJ for uh, the Creative Morning stuff that I need to do. Um, I have a thank you slide that will be at the end of the presentation on Friday, and so just needed to give him some information for that. And that's about it. So tomorrow I have my client work that I need to do because I have to get that done this week. Um, and then Wednesday I have a phone call with my mentor. That got scheduled today, so I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm just really bummed out. 
I guess this kind of goes in line with the thing I was talking about yesterday about how progress sometimes gets stymied and it's really easy to assume that it's not worth trying anymore. Like, not gonna lie, I wanted to go ball my eyes out. Well, wanted to. I did. Like, all while I was cooking supper because I was just so frustrated. And it's really easy to say, you know what, screw it. Like, I'm no good at this. I can't do it. This just shouldn't happen, wouldn't happen. I'm throwing in the towel. And I have to remember that that's kind of a lousy attitude to have. So the better attitude is to say, you know what, tomorrow's another day. It has no mistakes in it. I can start over and I don't have to try and deal with this drive. Um, I can deal with it later. I can go get it diagnosed by somebody else. Um... Knowing now that it's actually a spinning hard drive is helpful. There's one more trick that I want to try, um, and I may attempt that tomorrow. I don't know yet. At this point, it's one of those, like, I dare not touch it uh, because I don't want to mess it up anymore. And with my current tracker record, that's kind of like, okay, like, let's just not do anything with it and let it let it have time to settle out. So, yeah, not necessarily my happiest of Mondays, but thankfully... You know, it's done. It is what it is. And we start tomorrow and start over tomorrow. So, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, this is kind of what happens. Um, it's the daily stuff. The the hard part of working for yourself, being the boss. Uh, you know, when you're the boss, there's nobody to pass the buck to. There's nobody else in IT to blame. There's You are it. You are the line of defense. And for those of you that have been following me, you know, you've been getting a a look at this that you're responsible for everything there's if something goes wrong you're on the line if something goes good you're on the line um, so sometimes IT goes the way that it is if you've had a you know a major problem with hard drives or media or you know things just failing and having a hard time learning you know if you feel like sharing it in the comments go ahead um, I'd love to hear your stories of how you got over it cuz when I feel like this it sucks um, yeah, and I'll see you all tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be a little bit more productive. Ciao. How do they do that? Like, apparently, there we go.